Hallelujah. Magandang araw po sa bawat isa. Sige po, maaari bang palakpakan mo ang Diyos sa oras na ito. Sige, don't stop clapping your hands. Give God the praise that He deserves. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And truly, really today is a very good day, no? Another day for us to worship the Lord. Kung nasaan ka man ngayon, nasa bahay ka man, nakaupo ka man, no, today, we're gonna give our hearts to the Lord. Today, we're gonna give our all in all sa Panginoon kasi yan ang kind of worship na deserve ng Lord. Amen po ba doon? Amen. Hallelujah. And let me just share to you in Psalms chapter 118, it says, Give thanks to the Lord for He is good and His love endures forever. Let Israel say, His love endures forever. Let the house of Aaron say, His love endures forever. And let those who fear the Lord say and declare, His love endures forever. You know, today, church, come on, clap your hands. His love endures forever. Ang pagmamahal ng Dios ay magpakailan man kaya today we're gonna give our worship to the Lord because He deserves it from His people, from the people He created. Hallelujah. Puri na panginoon. Come on. We're gonna declare that He is a glorious God. Hey. Ready to shout? Jim? Sing.
Jesus, our hearts are being opened and we want you, God, to come in. Come in right now. Come right now, Jesus. Let your presence fill our place, Panginoon. Hayaan mo, Lord, na maramdaman namin ang presensya mo right now, Father, kung nasaan man kami. We want to encounter you, not just feel you, God, but to encounter your presence right now, Jesus. We want more of you, God more of you, Jesus, so that we may believe in you more, trust you more, find strength in you more, find refuge in you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on, feel the presence of God. He is here. Oh, He is here right now. Oh, Jesus. source of strength, 
just to know Him more And to count my gains, my losses to the glory faithful God our father our friend who never leave us nor forsake us you have been so good to us you watch us every day and every moment of our lives you are there to see to it that we are protected that we are provided that Lord we are under your goodness and your kindness and your mercy and so today we just want to to thank you God for everything that you are doing in our lives I thank you God that we are seeing your faithfulness to each and every families and to every members of this church oh God and to those who are hearing this prayer oh God on how much Lord, you are showing yourself unto them how much you care about them, how much you are strengthening us and encouraging us, and that, Lord, you are moving people, and, Lord, that you are using a lot of situations and things, O oh God, to see to it that we are nourished, O oh God, and we are sustained and we are encouraged that we may be able to go on in this life 
despite of all this COVID-19 and this pandemic, oh God, despite of this crisis, oh God, despite of these things, oh Lord God, that is happening, oh Lord God, around us, Lord, you are keeping us at peace. You are keeping us assured that whatever happens, that we can count on you as our God who loves us, who cares about us, who promise that you will see us through, through thick and thin, God, that you will see to it, that we will make it, because it is your own strength, it is your own power, it is your own presence, oh God. It is your own goodness and provision that, Lord, we will be able to make it. Lord, that we will be able to live. Lord, that we will be able, oh God, to continue on with this hope in our hearts, with this assurance in our hearts. There is no fear, but only peace and comfort. Lord, in times that we are weak, in times that we are doubting, in times that we are uncertain and fearful of what's going to happen in the future, oh God, that Lord, you are always reminding us that you are in control of the future. You are in control of the situation. You are in control of everything, that we are not to worry, that we are not to fear, that you will see us through, O oh God, that you will see to it, O oh Lord, that only your plans and purposes will happen in our lives, in our families, in our children. Our future is in your hands. And so, Lord, thank you, God, that in every home, your people are there, Worshipping you, O oh God, thanking you, O oh God. You are also there in their midst, O oh Lord, to assure them, to encourage them, to strengthen them, O oh Lord, that you are the God who is always protecting us, watching over our lives. That Lord, your presence is enough, O oh Lord God, that we will live with that assurance. That everything is going to be well, O oh Lord. That everything, O oh God, is under your control, O oh Lord. That we are not to fear anything, O oh God. That there is only this word of yours and the promises. You have a beautiful plans for each and every one of us. You have a beautiful purpose and that's what's going to happen. And that's what you're going to fulfill in every home, in every family. In every lives of your people, O oh God. So, Father, today, continue to encourage us. Continue to speak to our hearts. Continue, Lord God, to use your messenger. That the word will be delivered in your power, in your anointing, in the very words that you wanted us to hear today. Father, thank you so much, O oh Lord. Let your presence fill every home today. Let your word saturate every heart today. Let your love, O oh God, fill every one of your children today that once again we will have a new spirit. We will have a new strength. We will have a new hope, O oh Lord God. And Father God, we will have, O oh Lord God, a new, wonderful, exciting life because, O oh Lord, you are with us. You are our God. You are you're our Father, our leader, O oh God, our friend, and your favor, and your love, and your goodness will follow us all the days of our lives. Thank you, Father God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Welcome to Church of God Imus uh, online worship services. We praise the Lord because even though we are at the comfort of our home and we are apart from each other, yet we can worship together as God's people and enjoy His goodness during this time of worship. And uh, also, I would like to encourage you not to allow yourself to be distracted by uh, things in, in uh, our home, but instead, I encourage you to remain focused 
to have an expectant heart because I believe God is a word for each and every one of us today to encourage us, to bless us. And God really wanted to touch our hearts today. And also, I would like to give you some updates of what we're doing uh, with regards to our ministries because now uh, in this time of GCQs and MGCQs and quarantine times, so we, that our church is adjust, adjusting to the new normal of our ministries. So I want you to watch uh, for our updates and more information. Hello and welcome again, everyone. We hope you had a great time singing and worshiping God. Now, before we proceed with the next part of our service, here are some few updates with regards to the reopening of our church. Though we really prayed hard and prepared for the resumption of our worship services, still our request has been declined by the local city government as we are still in community quarantine. For the meantime, rest assured that we are doing our very best and working double time in setting the new norm in our church. New normal service guidelines will be cascaded to you soon. Also, our church will remain connected with you through our social media platforms, sharing the word, worship, and encouragement right in the comfort of our homes. So, don't forget to like and follow our Facebook page, official website, and YouTube account to stay connected with us. Let's continue our worship with giving. The light of giving is knowing that God takes care of all our needs. We don't give because we need more. We don't give because we receive more. We give because we entrust all our resources to God according to His purposes and will. In Philippians 4.19, My God will meet all our needs according to the riches of His glory in Christ Jesus' name. This is not a promise of wealth, but this is the promise of God that He can bless people who maximizes their resources for God's glory. The act of faithfulness reflects the faithfulness of God in our lives. And as we receive the word of God, I pray that we will open our hearts for giving and trusting what He desires serve to receive. For those who want to give, you can scan the QR code or to the bank account details you see on the screen. Let's pray for our tithes and offerings. God, we come today to present to you our gift to the work of your gospel. Help us, Lord God, to cultivate our faith in believing in the law of giving and receiving, Lord God, trusting that you are the God who is control and who shall supply all our needs according to your purposes and will, Father. Move in our hearts today, Father, and help us to give with a heart, Lord God, that will cheerfully give everything we have for your glory, God. Bless the work of our hands, God. We align ourselves to you into your will and your purpose, God. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Thank you once again for giving, and now let's be excited and prepare our hearts to hear the word of God. Indeed, in every victory, let it be said of me, my source of strength, my source of hope is Christ alone. What a declaration this first Sunday of the month. Amen po ba? So, kamusta po ang bawat isa? And I believe that where you are right now, whether you're seating or you're standing, whether nasa sala ka, nasa kwarto ka, kagigising mo lang, I believe that you have experienced the goodness and the fullness of His love over your life. Amen? Kaya naman po, um, this time, I want you to prepare your heart for the Word of the Lord. Ready ka na po ba? Are you ready to receive and hear more from the Lord? If you are ready, bago po ang lahat, bago ang lahat, may I ask you this question, no? May I ask you, ano ang kwento ng EGMCQ mo? Malamang po ay nasa halos apat na buwan, ayan, apat na buwan na po tayong tumatakbo sa ating ECQ, GCQ, MGCQ, lahat ng may ECQ na yan, no? We are running and still, by the grace of God, we're still standing by the grace of God, He's still supplying all our needs. Pero ano po ba ang kwento mo? Marahil po marami sa nagdaan na araw, panahon, or buwan, marami pong nawalan ng trabaho, maraming nag-alala sa kinabukasan nila, sa kakainin nila, maraming estudyante nag-iisip, sana kung mag-aaral, paano ko gagraduate, maraming magulang, no? maraming magulang na iniisip kung saan sila kukuha ng pang-araw-araw nila. And maybe today, may mga kwento ka, marami din po, may maraming mga kwento na maraming pamilya ang mas naging buo, matatag dahil sa araw-araw na panalangin. At marami din tayong nakilala sa ating family members. Even po ba doon? Kaya naman, 
this time of pandemic, okay, this time of pandemic, what do we really need? What do we really want? Amen? What do, what this pandemic taught us? May na, may na discover po ba tayo sa character natin? May na discover po ba tayo sa heart natin, sa relationship natin, sa pamilya, sa Lord? And let me ask you this. What are you feeling right now? How do you feel about it? Diba? Are you tired lately? Are you lonely? Are you not okay lately? Are you trying to be okay? Are you trying to stand? Are you trying to survive every day of your life? Are you giving up? Are you losing hope? Are you lost? But let me remind you this. Let us go back to the basic. Ano ba yung basic na yan? Kasi when you go back to the basic, this time it will remind yourself that it's not about your, your, your money, your riches. It's not about anything. It's not about your, um, your abilities. It's not about your title, your position. No, this pandemic season of our life, the world pandemic crisis, diba? it's all about your life how you will appreciate the life that God has given you. So right now, gusto kong sabihin mo sa sarili mo, my life matters. My life matters to God. Amen? Kaya naman this first Sunday of the seventh month of 2020, despite of this world, uh, worldwide pandemic crisis that we're experiencing, I just want you to be reminded that your life matters and all lives matters. Amen? Familiar po ba ang topic natin? Familiar po ba ang title natin ngayon? All lives matters. Maraming sinisigaw na ito lang, yung karap, may karapatang mabuhay, ito lang, ito lang, but actually no. All lives matter. Pwede bang sabi mo sa katabi mo, all lives matter? Amen? All lives matter. You can see this everywhere in the world. Placards, t-shirts, posts. Hashtags sa Twitter, hashtags sa Facebook. Pero totoo to, all lives matter. At ito po, ang nagpatunay na all lives matter is this verse. Are you ready to, to receive this verse? Ito ang patunay ng lahat ng buhay ng tao ay mahalaga. Let us open your Bible or let open your Bible in John 3.16. Maybe you, you don't have to open your Bible because memorize mo na to with all your heart. Bata ka pa lang, alam mo na to. But I want you to declare this with all your heart and with all your might as we read this. With your family, can you read it with me? In John 3.16, it says here, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. That whoever believes in Him will not perish, but have everlasting life. We can all bow down our heads and pray. Father, we thank You, God. We thank You because You gave Your one and only Son. We thank You because today we are reminded that You've loved us so much, God. That You're not just willing to love us, but You're willing to give Your only one. Just for us to have an everlasting life. Kaya naman, Panginoon, so oras na ito, I pray that you will not just open our eyes, ears, but you will also open our hearts to receive a new revelation that comes from the very word of the Lord. Kaya naman, Panginoon, right now, God, I pray for every family, God, that you will remove every destructions in every home, that you will remove every doubts, every fear, every worries, that we may focus our eyes on you, that we may focus our hearts upon you and receiving more from you, God more from your presence, more from your peace. And Lord, we declare that today is a victorious day because today is the day that you have made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. We thank you, Lord. We bless your name. In Jesus' name we pray. And everybody say, Amen and Amen. Sige, pwede bang palakpahan natin ang Panginoon with your family, with you, al along with your phone. Palakpahan mo ang Panginoon because He deserves to be praised. He deserves Diba? A highest honor even in our midst. Alam niyo po ba, um, marami, marami pong tao ang nabago ng buhay. Nabago ang buhay dahil sa John 3.16. Amen? Ikaw po ba, nabago ka ba ng John 3.16? Diba? Actually, this is, to be honest, this is my first time to preach about John 3.16 on a Sunday service. 
where do we mostly hear John 3.16? Evangelistic crusade, house to house, evangelism, track giving. You know what? God loves you and for God so love. And especially sa Sunday word. Maybe ito yung pinaka-favorite verse mo dahil ito na lang ang alam mong verse. Tama? But you know, right now, I just want to share a story about a person na sobrang persistent. So there's this man who's having a trouble in his marriage, in his family, in his career, in business, lahat, even in his self. Lumapit siya sa isang pastor. Sabi niya, Pastor, I know that you're a man of God and I know that you're able to give me something from the Lord. Will you be able to give me a word from the Lord so that I can, I can meditate on it, I can hold on to it, and by then, I know that I will be victorious. So this pastor says na, Okay, I'm, I'm going to give you a word. So this is the word, John 3.16. Nah. Alam ko na yan, pastor. Ang bira, bata pa lang ako, alam ko na yan. Pero wala, meron bang something yung iba? Yung medyo mabigat, yung tipong pag narinig ko, maiiyak ako, ganyan. Kasi may, alam ko na yan, bata, ako na yan bata, na ako, bata pa ako, alam ko na yan. Sabi ng pastor, um, you've asked me for a word, I'm giving you a word, John 3.16. Wala bang, ibang pasto, wala bang ibang pastor? Wala eh. Yun talaga ang word. And then he, he left the, the vicinity. Bumalik siya, kinabukasan. Pastor, baka naman. Baka naman may bago ka dyang word na Lord. Kasi um, I know that already. I'm already a father. When I was a child, alam ko na yun. So he became persistent. At paulit-ulit lang. At naging persistent din tong pastor na to. Paulit-ulit na John 3.16 ang binibigay niya. And hanggang nainis na siya. Sabi niya, sige, baka naman talaga ang ano, baka naman talaga ito talaga, pero I don't feel it. I don't feel it. Wow. <laughs> Hindi niya feel, basahin, kasi nga memorize mo, na ganun ka pa rin po ba? Pag may in-encourage kang tao, least ang John 3.16, kasi mas okay at ang Philippians 4.13, mas okay kaya ang Jeremiah 29, kasi ang John 3.16 parang, di ba? But you know, amazing, to make all this, to cut this long story short, when he came to the pastor and at least said, Pastor, for the last time, kung meron ka dyang word that ibibigay mo sa akin, I would gladly accept that. But the pastor says, it's still John 3.16. And sabi niya, okay, then I give up. I'll read John 3.16, even though I know it with all my heart. So sabi ni pastor, sabi ng pastor, I'll hand over you my Bible. I want you to read out loud John 3.16. And you know what? When he was, or while he was about to read, or when he was about to read John 3.16, sabi dito, when he opened the Bible and said, For God so loved, hindi niya na natuloy. For God so loved pa lang, nag-strike na sa kanya yung word na yun. With all his brokenness, when he feels giving up, lost, but that, those three words, for God, so love, or four words, he gave up and just wept and wept and wept. Amen. Why am I sharing this? Hindi porkit alam mo na, hindi porke na memorize mo na at familiar ka na doon. Wala na sa'yo yun. No. The word of God is alive. The word of God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And that is Christ. Amen. And ganun siya ka-powerful. In your weakness, and right now, while reading it, how do you feel? While meditating on it, how do you feel? I pray na ganun ka rin ng parang lalaki na nun. That for God so loved, you are ready experience and encounter the fullness of His love. Amen? So ako po, every time na naalala ko to, every time I, I, I read the Word of God, I always remind myself about this story. Hindi porkit nabasa mo na, na-highlight mo na, okay na yon hindi. Iba-iba, may iba't ibang revelation ang salita ng Diyos sa atin. Amen? And you know what? I have discovered recently, or alam naman natin talaga ito, no? That John 3.16, I searched in Google, ayan. John 3.16 is one of the most searched Bible verse in Google in the world. Bakit? Dahil nga po may mga sikat na artista, uh, not artista, but um, um, sports, sa sports, no? si Tim Tebow, di ba? Naglagay siya ng John 3.16 sa kanyang face. And with that, a lot of people got curious and searched in Google, what is John 3.16? And it made to the top 
siya yung most searched Bible verse, John 3.16. As you can see, no, in our, nasa almost 100, 123 million. Lalo na po ngayon, umabot na siya ng trillion siguro and everything. Marami po, everyday people are searching, what is John 3.16? Kaya po yung masasabi dyan sa, sa, ating, sa ating research, no. But then, do you know that if John 3.16 is the most searched, if John 3.16 is the most, it's always used when we are doing an evangelism. It's always used when we want a person to be saved. It's always used when we want a person to experience and encounter the love of God. We share it. Pero may tanong po ako sa inyo. Alam mo ba ang hugot, okay? Alam mo ba ang hugot ng John 3.16? I know that you have read John chapter 3 hanggang dulo po yan, no? But did you know where thus Jesus comes from or coming from when he said for God so loved the world? Kasi kung di mo alam ngayon gusto kong ipaalala sa iyo. Yes, it came from the very lips of Jesus Christ. Alam mo ba kung kanino niya sinasabi ito? If yes, praise the Lord. If no, he is speaking to Nicodemus, okay? If, and did you know who is Nicodemus? And bakit ba niya nasabi to kay Nicodemus? I just want you to, to know that Nicodemus, okay? Sabi po sa 1 John, okay? 1 John 1, uh, 1 John chapter 3, verse 1, There was a man, the Pharisees, named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jew. He is a powerful man. He is um, a leader, he, he is well known sa Sanhedrin po, sa buong Israel. He is known as one of the greatest teacher. But you know, um, Nicodemus' curiosity led him to what? To meet Jesus Christ at night. Na-curious siya. Because, na-curious siya, bakit sino ba tong rabbi na to? Sino ba tong teacher na ito? Na hindi naman nagtuturo sa loob ng sinagog, hindi pa naman nakakapag-aral, pero bakit marami siyang followers? Bakit maraming nakikinig sa kanya? Bakit? At bakit may kakayanan siyang gumawa ng himala? His curiosity led him to encounter the greatest rabbi or teacher in the whole world. And he met him. What? Kailan? Tanghale, umaga, hindi. Gabi. Pag sinabing gabi, hindi alas 6, hindi alas 7, pwedeng alas 10, alas 11 ng gabi. Why? Para natatakot na siya, baka kasi makita siya ng ibang tao. No. Ang gusto niya, masolo niya si Jesus. Ang gusto niya, walang interruption. Ang gusto niya, walang ibang sino man ang pwedeng, what? Pwedeng dumisturb sa kanila. But here comes, sabi nga eh, dito po sa kanilang usapan, no? This is where the word comes from sa usapan nila. Nasabi kasi ni Nicodemus, you are the greatest teacher. ba? And you are someone, I believe that God has sent you here. So dito po ay na-present ang word o narinig ang word na born again. Amen? In John chapter 3, you will, you will see here, unless you are born again, you are not. You cannot see the kingdom of God. Unless you are born again, you cannot enter in the kingdom of God. Unless you are born of water and born of spirit, alam niyo po ba, hindi na intindihan, hindi na gets ni Nicodemus. He did not get why Jesus is telling him this. Paano yun papasok ulit sa womb? Hindi. There's a new birth experience. Ang sabi niya ni Jesus, if you will open, if you will continue reading it in verse 11, 12, sabi niya, aren't you the Israel, teachers of, teacher of Israel? You should be knowing this. If in earthly matters, I've been already telling you and you would not believe, how can you believe if I've already presented to you or tell you heavenly matters? Amazing, no? Pero alam niyo po ang Panginoon, si Jesus, kilala niya tayo eh. Amen? Naniniwala ka ba doon? Kilala ka niya ng Panginoon. He knows what are you thinking right now. He knows what you feel. He knows what's in your heart. He knows what's on your mind. You don't have to, to parang, you don't have to be shy or you cannot keep anything from the Lord because He knows exactly, even before you utter a word, He knows it already. At ganun niya kakilala si Nicodemus. Ganun niya kakilala si Nicodemus. If Nicodemus was so, um, he was so parang um, confused of what Jesus Christ is telling him, 
na-amaze po ako, no? na-amaze ako kung paano ko na-discover ito. Dahil nga na-confuse siya, dahil nga hindi niya alam kung ano, um, kung, kung paano i-fathom yung sinasabi ng Panginoon, he cannot even comprehend it. Jesus thought that he is a Pharisee. He is, he is well known, ano mayon, he is, he, he is knowledgeable about the Torah. Kaya naman, ito yung naging approach ni Jesus para mas maunawaan ni Nicodemus. Can we open our Bible in John chapter 3, verse 13 to 15? And allow me to read you this. Sabi dito ni Jesus, Jesus is speaking here. No one has ascended to heaven, but he who came down from heaven, that is the Son of Man. He's speaking to himself, to, to, to Nicodemus, who is in heaven. Verse 14, And as Moses lifted up, as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up. Verse 15, that whoever believes in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. Let me highlight to you the word. So verse 14, and as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness. Bakit kaya? I was, you know, I was puzzled then when I was studying the word, no? Bakit kaya binanggit to ni Jesus? Bakit nag-quote si Jesus ng name ng isang character sa Old Testament? Because he knows that Nicodemus is knowledgeable. He, Nicodemus was reading it every day, lahat ng five Torah na yan. Binabasa niya yan every day. And alam ng Panginoon, ay, ano, dito, niya, dito niya maaabot si Nicodemus. Okay? Sabi dito, when Jesus told about Nicodemus this, and as the Moses lifted up and to the serpent in the wilderness, Nicodemus stopped for a while. He stopped and he, con- he chose to listen. Kasi diba nung una may discussion sila, eh bakit nga Lord? Eh hindi ko maintindihan, ano yun? Ganyan. So lahat may discussion. Pero ito ang nagpatigil kay Nicodemus. Ang word na to, yung keynote ni Jesus. Kaya naman, let us open our, ito yung hugot talaga, no? Let us open our Bible to Numbers chapter 21, verse 4 to 8. Let, allow me to read to you. Bakit kaya kinuha ni Jesus yon? Saan kaya kinuha ni Jesus para makakonek kay Nicodemus? Sabi sa Numbers 21, verse 4, Then they journeyed from Mount Hor by the way of the Red Sea to go around the land of Edom. And the soul of the people became very discouraged on the way. So they were the, the people were very discouraged on the way. Saan? Papunta na nga doon. Diba? Sa, sa flowing with milk and honey. And the people spoke. Take note of this. The people spoke against God and against Moses. Ito po sabi nila. Why have you brought us up out of Egypt to die in wilderness? For there is no food, no water, and our souls loathe. Ayan, nagsasawa na kami at inis na inis na kami sa, sabi nila, this worthless bread, pambihira. Alam mo ba yung worthless bread na sinasabi nila? Yun yung mana na everyday pinoprovide ng Panginoon. To the point na nagsasawa na, nagre-reklamo na itong mga Israelitas na to, no? Verse 6, sabi nito, so the Lord sent, remember this, so the Lord sent fiery serpent among the people. They bit the people, and many of the people of Israel died. Ouch. Many of the people of Israel died. Kung babasahin mo to, ng plain lang at hindi mo nauunawaan from the Holy Spirit, grabe naman ang Panginoon, no? Nagpadala ng maraming ahas, pinatay ang mga Israelitas, napakagrabe naman. But you know what? Don't just know itong ano lang, surface lang. Know the root every circumstances na nangyayari. Anong root? Nagmurmur sila. Anong root? They spoke against God and their leader Moses. So God sent many, di ba? Ginawang naging plague siya itong mga serpent na to. Ngayon, why am I sharing this? Let me go to verse 7. Therefore, people, kasi marami na namatay eh. Therefore, remember that. Therefore, the people came to Moses and said, we have sinned against the Lord. We have sinned, for we have spoken against the Lord and against you. Ito sabi ng mga tao, Moses, pray to the Lord that He take away the serpent from us. Moses, magpray ka naman dyan. 
tatanggalin na ito maraming ahas ito sa amin. Anong ginawa? So Moses prayed for the people. Grabe no? Ganyan ka ba? Ikaw na nga itong sinisiraan. Ngayon, nung lumapit sa'yo at nag-ask ng prayer, you were still able to pray for them. Grabe lang yung puso ng Mo- ni Moses, di ba? And then verse 8, it says here, Then the Lord said to Moses, remember, close sila ng Panginoon, eh. Make a fiery serpent and set it on a pole. Set it on a pole and it shall be that everyone who is beaten... When he looks at it, they shall live. So Moses made a bronze serpent and put it on a pole. And so it was. If a serpent had beaten anyone, he looked. when he looked at the, bro- the bronze serpent, he would live. Amazing. Ito, po pala, yung, ito pala yung hugot nun. Nag-gets niyo po ba? So ngayon, Nicodemus stopped for sure ay nakanganga pa siya. Ano mo yun? Jaw-dropping and mind-blowing na parang paano mo, paano mo alam yun? Diba? Remember Jesus, He was the Word, diba? In the beginning is the Word and He was already present at that time. And that's what made Nicodemus stop and think and listen to the Lord. Amen. Kaya naman, ang first point natin ay stop. I'm gonna give you three points about all lives matter. Yes. You will only... Um, give meaning to your life if you learn how to stop. Sabi mo stop. Ayan. Stop, no? Alam niyo po si Nicodemus, kung babasahin mo yung chapter 3, hanggang dun lang siya eh. Hanggang sa tanong na yun, eh, bakit nga Lord? Tapos from that day on, nag-stop na siya and he chose to listen. Are you familiar with these pictures, no? This Pictures, okay, these words like problems, job loss, pain, death, depression, anxiety, sickness, coronavirus, at yung word na extended, na extend ang ECQ. Napastop yung, di ba, may ginagawa ka at nabalitaan na extended, napastop ka. Tama? Yung depression will cause you to stop, di ba, stop you from reading the world. Word of God stop you from praying. Anxiety, your sickness will stop your body to move. Diba? To, to eat properly. So lahat po ito. And know that this pandemic and the plague that God allows na nangyari sa Israelite allows them to stop. What? Stop from murmuring. Stop from blaming others. Amen po ba doon? Kaya naman, when we are in pain talaga, no, we stop. Ikaw ba? Sa loob ng apat na buwan, ano ang nagpahinto sa'yo? Baka ang nagpahinto sa'yo, yung pagkatanggal mo sa trabaho. Baka nagpahinto sa'yo, yung galit mo sa pamilya mo. Dahil nga lahat kayo sama-sama, hindi kayo nagkakaunawaan. So you just want to stop talking, stop thinking. Di ba? Stop, alam mo yun, stop praying with them. Pero po, alam niyo po, Naniniwala ako may purpose ang Panginoon eh. This moment, COVID-19 allowed us to stop what? It caused us to stop church. Tama? Going to church. It stopped us from not wearing, ano, from, from being free. Diba? Bawal ka magbabad sa mall. Bawal ka walang mask. Lahat. Maraming tumigil. Pero naniniwala ako, inaalaw ng Panginoon ito mangyari dahil may purpose siya. He does not want you to just go on with your life and continue what you are doing right now. Sometimes, things change and things said, we should stop. Okay, Samuel, you know, life is a gift from God. Remember that life is a gift from God. Whenever our comfort is disturbed, we, are, we murmur, we complain, and God will, we, put, we keep on blaming the Lord in everything that we do. Kaya nga dito, while reading Numbers 21 verse, verse 4 to 8, when the Israelites starts to be ungrateful, when the Israelites, Israelites starts to blame God and doubt God and their leader, God allows plague to happen for them to stop. For us to stop. For them to stop and recognize their sin before the Lord. For them to stop and say, God, we sin against you. For them to stop and say, God, we will choose to pray. We will choose to believe in you. Amen? So, yun po yung sinasabi dun sa ating ano, no? 
we, all, we often take it for granted until something happened, until we threaten yung buhay natin. Kaya naman, I just want to remind you, you have to stop and pray. Hindi mo titigil yung buhay mo. Hindi mo titigil yung pagbabasa mo ng salita ng Diyos. Sabi nga, tayo lang ang na-quarantine, pero hindi ang Panginoon, hindi ang salita ng Panginoon, hindi yung passion mo sa pagpupuri sa Panginoon ang dapat ma-quarantine. Dapat yan, lalo ay ma-unleashed. Amen? Kaya naman, when people pray to God, He answered. When Moses prayed to God, He answered. And when you pray to God, I believe that He is answering you. Ano ba mga prayers mga kapatid? Know that He answers you. And take note, sabi sa John, 5, John chapter 3, okay, sa verse 15, uh, verse 14, Even so must the Son of Man, inano niya yung serpent sa Paul, kay Jesus, sa sarili niya. Even so, the Son of Man be lifted up that whoever believes in Him will not perish but have everlasting life. Nakita nyo? Kinunik ng Panginoon yung ginawa ni Moses doon at ni Jesus ngayon kung ano yung mangyayari. Jaw drop si Nicodemus. Ganun ka rin ba? Pag nare-remind ka kung anong ginawa ni Jesus, remember this. God did not take the source of their pain away. Amen. When they prayed, God did not take the source of their pain away as the serpents remained in their camps. Why? They only had to look up and live. God will never take away your pain, but He will always provide a way for you to look up, for you to call, for you to depend on Him, and for you to say, God, I choose to look upon you. Diba po? Kaya nga, ang sabi sa ating second point, if you, number one, you have to stop. This moment, you have to stop. This pandemic season, you have to stop. And number two, you have to look. Look where? Do not, don't stop looking at yourself. Stop looking sa mga mali ng magulang mo. Stop looking sa kawalan. Stop looking sa kakulangan. But start looking up to Christ. Amen? So ito po, di ba yung sabi ni, G, sabi, sabi ni God, mag, magtayo ka ng pole na may serpent. Ang lahat ng titingin doon makakareceive ng healing. But let me tell you this. Hindi ka na sa serpent titingin. Jesus became the atoning sacrifice. But when you look at Jesus, you will not just receive healing, but you will receive an everlasting life. You will receive freedom. You will receive restoration. Amen? And you will receive His everlasting love. Let me tell you this, or ask you. Do you need healing right now? Do you need peace from the Lord right now? Do you need assurance from the Lord? Do you need freedom from anxiety, depression? Do you need freedom from struggles, from your past? Look up to Jesus. You have to look up. You have to look up to Jesus. Like what Jehoshaphat says, when we do not know what to do anymore. Lord, we do not know what to do, but our eyes are on you. Hindi mo maalam, nalulungkot ka man ngayon, nababagabag ka, lugmok ka dyan sa anxiety mo. Try to look up and say, God, I don't know what to do, I don't know what to feel right now, but my eyes are on you. Fix your eyes on Jesus Christ. It says here in Isaiah 45 verse 22, Look to me, sabi ng Panginoon, look to me and be saved. All you ends of the earth, for I am God, there is no other. Look to God. Amen. I want you to encourage, I want to encourage your sitmate, your family, sa gitna ng kawalan, look to God. Look to Him. Kaya naman po, the world, remember this, the world is looking down, even now, as the world looks up to Him. Amen po ba? In the midst of this COVID-19, and we lift, sabi nga, in this COVID-19 pandemic, and we lift and save us, many will receive and many will believe in His name. Amen? As we look up to Him, He's looking down on us. Amen? Kaya naman po, in this pandemic crisis that we are experiencing, stop, look up to Jesus, and number three, live. Sabi mo nga live. Live. Ayaw mo na ba mabuhay? Live. Live for Jesus. Yun pala. Yun pala yung hugot ng John 3.16. Don't just read it as is yun. 
Alamin mo saan ang galing. Alamin mo bakit sinabi ni Jesus kay Nicodemus yun. Are you curious like Nicodemus? Are you lost? Can you not comprehend the love of God like Nicodemus? God will remind you of what He has done on the cross. And let me tell you this. This is the reason why we are still living, breathing, standing. It's all because. Sabi sa John 3, 16, can you just repeat it or recite it? For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whoever, yes, whoever believes in Him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Ito yung hugot ng all lives matter. Ito yung nagpapatunay ng buhay mo ay mahalaga. Ang buhay ng pamilya mo ay mahalaga. No matter what your past is, no matter what you have done yesterday, your life matters to God. Amen? Hindi lang races yan. Hindi lang, hindi lang yung race. Hindi lang yung, yung estado ng buhay mo. Hindi ko anong, anong nakaraan mo, anong galing mo, anong ganda mo. Hindi doon nakatingin ng Panginoon. The fact that you are breathing and you're living, you matter to God. Ganon kakahalaga sa Panginoon na binigay niya ang nag-iisa niyang anak para sa iyo. Amen? Since you know this, for God so loved the world, let me just remind you. For God, sino ba si God? God who made the heaven and the earth, the God who is holy, the God who is sovereign, the God who is just, the God who is merciful. For God, the God who loves you. Diba? For God so loved, wow, unconditional, active. His love is active. His love is selfless. His love is never self-centered. His love is selfless. For God so loved the world. Sino tong world na to? World is stained by sin, the rebellious, the unfaithful. For God so loved the world where we are living right now. Patigas ang ulo, stubborn, lahat, hard heart. Ito yung word. For God so loved the world. Kaya naman, sabi doon, di ba? Tandaan niyo po ito. Before I continue, Jesus was lifted up on the cross of Calvary and crucified for the sins of the world. For your sins, for my sins, for the sins of your family, and to the next generation, He was crucified for you. He was lifted up so that when you're feeling down, just look up to Him and be reminded of what He has done. The solution provided for Israelites is similar to what God has put in place to deliver man from the plague of sin. On the cross, remember this. On the cross, he defeated death. On the cross, he set you free. On the cross, he said that you are worth dying for, that we are worth dying for. Ganyan, kakamahal ng Panginoon. Okay, let me continue, no? For God so loved the world that He gave. Remember, He did not gave a thing. He gave His one and only Son that He gave. His only Son and that is His only treasure. He gave. Hindi niya pinagdamot sa'yo. Amen? Hindi siya nagpadala ng anghel, pinadala niya. Sino? Ang nag-iisa niyang anak para sa'yo, kapatid. His only Son, Jesus Christ, the Savior of the world, the champion of heaven, di ba? Jesus Christ, who's seated on the throne, He sent it just to save you. And that, that whoever, sabi mo nga whoever, whoever, whoever means anyone, how broken you are, how imperfect you are, how rebellious you were, whoever, what? Ikaw yun. Broken family ka man, depressed ka man, nakapatay ka man, Nanloko ka man ng ibang tao. Yes, whoever, whoever believes in Him. Whoever believes in Him. Ang sino mang sumampalataya. Whoever believes in Him. Who accepts Him. Fully trust. Surrendered. Who fully gave His life. Amen? Believes in Him. Shall not perish. Eternal separation from God. We should, God does not desire us to be separated forever from Him. That's why He made a way that whoever believes in His Son, Jesus Christ, will not perish but have everlasting life. Amen. Sino dito gusto magkaroon ng buhay ng walang hanggan? I believe you wanted to have an everlasting life. Full, eternal relationship with God. Do you want to have an everlasting life with Jesus Christ? Do you want to have a relationship with Him? 
Pwedeng oo, secured ka na. Pero baka ngayon nakalimutan mo dahil masyado kang nalunod sa lahat ng problema mo. Amen? Kaya today, I just want to remind you, stop and pray. Nawalan ka ng trabaho? Maybe some of you, you feel anxious. Some of you, you fear of what's gonna happen tomorrow. Some of you are uncertain. Some of you here are depressed. Some of you here does not want to live anymore. Ayaw mo nang mabuhay kasi natatakot ka. Ayaw mo nang mabuhay kasi nawawalan ka na ng purpose. Ayaw mo nang mabuhay kasi hindi mo na nararamdaman ang presensya ng Panginoon. Ayaw mo nang mabuhay kasi natatakot ka. Baka may mawala na. But I want you to know, when everything seems failing, just stop. Stop and pray. Stop and pray. Look up to Jesus. Then when you look up to Him, you will no longer feel or thought about of dying anymore. Amen? You will no longer feel that you're useless. Whoever you are that is listening right now, I want you to be reminded that you matter to God. Amen? You matter to God. With all my courage, I would say there will be a time, there was a time, this pandemic season, there was a time I thought of quitting. Sabi nga, it's okay not to be okay. In-embrace mo yun eh, di ba? Sometimes you feel like you want to stop. Sometimes you feel like you want to give up. But you know what? Maybe you are feeling that too. Si Pastora, nakakaramdam nun? Opo. Because I'm not a superhuman. I am an imperfect human being experiencing the perfect grace and love that comes from the Lord. That is why when the time that I want to stop everything, God allows me to experience anxiety. He allowed me to experience the lowest part of my life, this ECQ. Yes, hindi po ako natatakot aminin yun because I know some of you right now who is listening right now. I know some of you has experienced this or up until now is going through this. But God allows things to happen because He wants us to stop in everything that we do, whatever distracts us, He wants us to stop and earnestly pray and seek Him. And when you pray, God taught me to look up, not look on my right, not look on my left, but to look up to my Savior. When I started looking up, raising my hands high, even if I cannot, then the desire to live for the Lord, that desire to stand, came back on me again. Amen. Kaya naman, nung binasa ko, Lord, anong ipreach ko? God led me to this word. For God so loved you, Krishna. For God so loved you that He gave His one and only Son, that is Jesus Christ. That whoever believes, whoever put His trust, that whoever remains in Him will not perish, but have everlasting life. And that life, you can never find it in money, in riches, in success. You can only find it in Jesus Christ. That's why I want to remind each and every one of you God loves you Yes, mahal ka ng Panginoon At sa sobrang pagmamahal ng Panginoon sa'yo Hindi niya pinagkait kung nag-iisa niyang anak God gave His one and only Son And when you realize that He loves you And He gave His one and only Son When you believe, you will choose to live you will still choose to live until the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. So 
this first Sunday, seven months, kalipas na sa 2020, pero kung sakaling nalalayo ka, sakaling nalulugmok ka na, remember that God loves you so much and He's willing to give everything. He's not just willing to give everything. In fact, He already gave you His one and only Son. Choose to believe and choose to live for Christ. Choose to live for Jesus Christ. Choose to be faithful. Choose to be faithful. Christ Jesus. Amen. Before we partake our communion, can I just pray? Can I just pray for someone right now? If you came here, came across, dito, sa ating online service, and you haven't accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, maybe you knew Him, but you never understood how He loves you so much. Can I invite you to pray this prayer and repeat after me? Jesus, I admit that I'm broken. I'm a sinner. And apart from you, I'm no one. That is why right now, I humble myself before you. Asking for your grace. Yielding for your love. Now, I open my heart. I declare with all my heart and confess with my mouth that you, Jesus, will be my Lord and my Savior. You, Jesus, be the King of my heart. You, Jesus, take over my life. You died, you rose again for me to have an everlasting life. I surrender my own in Jesus' name. Amen. And for you right now, before we partake of this, Christiano ka, matagal na, nanay, tatay, leader. When the time you feel you're giving up, you like quitting, feel like lost, just always remember that God loves you so much. He's willing, He's not just willing, He's more than willing to give His one and only. He's more than willing just to give, He sent it. <laughs> Pinababa niya yung anak na dito para sa'yo. Can we, I pray for those Christians right now, my fellow Christian, my fellow believers and leaders in Christ. Can we all just pray before we partake? And let's, let's just seek the Lord. And just say, God, seek my heart, oh God. I've been, agar- I've been arrogant. I've been boastful. Kala ko kaya ko. Kala ko malakas ako. Kala ko magiging okay ako. But right now, God, I acknowledge that apart from you, I'm nothing, God. I'm no one. I'm weak. I'm lost. I'm hopeless, God. But right now, remind me of your love. Remind me, God, on the seventh month of 2020, that you're not yet done. You're not yet done in my life. Father, I pray for comfort for each and every one who is experiencing anxiety, depression, worries, fear, doubts, God. I pray, oh God, that you would comfort them, oh God. I just speak healing then, Panginoon, not just physically, but emotionally, that as we enter into the throne of grace, God, we will receive mercy and we will find grace in your presence, oh Lord. Over our homes, God. Go over our hearts. Allow this heart to be surrendered to you and allow these eyes to look up to you. In spite and in spite of this pandemic crisis that we've experienced, oh God. But thank you for forgiving me. Thank you for washing away all my sins. You are good, God. You are my Father. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. As we prepare our hearts to Lord, we prepare also our elements. So today we will be partaking 
these elements and be reminded of what Jesus Christ has done on the cross of Calvary. Madalas ginagawa mo to sa simbahan, pero ngayon apat na buwan na ginagawa mo to sa loob ng tahanan. Kaya naman ngayong araw na ito, gusto kong ipaalam sa iyo, hindi biro ang ginawa ni Jesus sa cross ng Kalbaryo. Sineryoso ka niya doon. Kaya I pray, seryosohin mo din ang Panginoon. Amen. Can we It says here in the word of the Lord, For I received from the Lord what I also passed unto you. The night he was betrayed, took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Before we partake it, let us pray. Father, thank you for, your, thank you for allowing your son, Jesus Christ, to be broken, to have a broken body. Just for us to be whole again, O God. To be whole again, Panginoon. Maraming maraming salam. Let us all partake in prayer. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup, saying, This cup is a new covenant in my blood. That whenever you drink this, you will remember me. And whenever you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Sabay sabay po nating inumin. And as we have a quiet moment and as we sing this song, let this song minister to you. And as you close your eyes, as you remember what Jesus Christ has done on the cross, as we sing this song, make this your prayer. Hallelujah, Jesus. Please, God, with your amazing love. You, my King, would die for me. Oh, Jesus. Amazing love, I know it's true. It's my joy to honor you. Jesus. In all I do. declare this this day that he is our king he is the king of all he is the king of the world he is the king of the universe a king who died for me 
king who set me free. A king who was crucified in the cross of Calvary. A king who died and rose again to give me an everlasting life. God for filling our hearts. Thank you for reminding us that you came into this earth not just to prove your power, but to demonstrate your love towards us. God, we thank you for your word. We thank you, God, for allowing us to be vulnerable in front of you. Thank you for allowing us to be honest and thank you for allowing us to run into your throne and receive mercy and grace, God. Thank you because you are our Father. And right now, God, I just pray for every family. I pray right now in the name of Jesus for every home, oh God. I just speak healing. I just speak favor. I just speak restoration, peace upon their lives, God. Lord, allow us to cast all our cares, our anxiety, and be reminded that you care for us, God. You care for us. You love us so much. I just speak, God your presence to be upon our family. We thank you, God, for Philippines. We thank you, God, for the world. We don't know what to do when this issue or pandemic is going to end, but our eyes are on you. We will choose to fix our eyes on you, the author and the perfecter of our faith. Maraming maraming salamat, Panginoon. May you continue to bless us. May you to continue, Lord God, your face to shine upon us and to be a blessing to this generation. We love you. We praise you. We magnify your name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. And everybody say, amen and amen. Hallelujah. To God be all the glory and God bless you. Thank you once again for joining our service. See you next Sunday. God bless you.